What's up, guys? Triple Crown 24 back at you with another TTM recap episode. This is number nine. Before we get started today, I'd like to encourage you to check out the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of today's returns as well as if you've gotten any cool returns yourself lately. I have a five spot. We'll get right into it. This one's from a few days ago. Coming back from the Metroplex, which is par for the course on this channel now. I like sending to the Detroit area places. This is success number 50 on the year for me, so a little milestone there. Unique item number 70. It's one of one in 19 days. Member of the 1991 Detroit Lions team, kicker Eddie Murray. Now there's a lot of different Eddie Murrays in the sports and the entertainment realms. Um, this one was a kicker for the Lions for a few years. Really good kicker. Um, one of the better ones the Lions have had. He was replaced by Jason Hansen, who would go on to... Um, kicked for the Lions for over 20 years, which is pretty remarkable. Really cool, sent this to his home. Uh, the 91 Lions are the only Lions team to win a playoff game during the Super Bowl era. It was the closest they've ever been to a Super Bowl, but they were blown out by Washington in the NFC Championship game that year. So pretty cool um, success for my Lions PC. This was one that I got back yesterday. Went from Tampa Bay, St. Petersburg, Florida. Took eight days, tube two, success number 51, items 71 and 72. Signed a nice, big, bold blue Sharpie. This was a relief pitcher for several different teams, Mr. Jason Frazier. Signed this 2004 Bowman first year card. And also this 2014 Tops. So pretty good uh, signature. A lot of these um, sometimes kind of bleed on the back because they were put back in the envelope right away. But I got this one. This one was the top card, I believe, when I opened the envelope. And as you can see, there's no blue marker on the back, so it looks pretty good. I know that he took his time and uh, made sure it dried, which is really appreciated. Um, so thank you, Mr. Frazier, for that one. And then the ones I got back today, I thought this was pretty funny. Um, I, I had these leftover 2014 stamps that I've been going through. You might have seen one or other two returns on my channel that had them. And then they also introduced these like new piece ones around the time that Mother's Day um, was rolling around. And they were, you know, changing out their stamps. And then I have the standard U.S. flag ones. So three different types of stamps. We go to the 2014 one. This one is coming back in 16 days, success number 52 on the year, unique item 73. Out of the Texas Rangers ballpark in Arlington, Texas. Relief pitcher and current closer for the Texas Rangers. Um, pretty pretty nice signature on this one. Mr. Keone Kella on the 17 tops. I love getting the base tops um, signed, especially the 2018 set, I think. The 18 set and the 16 set, which unfortunately I don't have any cards from the 2016 set. I didn't do much baseball that year. Um, they, they look really sharp. So this one is signed in black. I know a few of the Rangers players do uh, stamp their autographs, but this one is not a stamp. Um, you, can, you can tell that where the marker went down and um, you can see like small indentations where he signed. So thank you, Mr. Kelly, for that one. At uh, the time that I wrote that, he was actually recording a save <laughs> against the Tigers. So, uh, pretty good timing when I was writing out his fan mail there, watching him dominate my favorite team. This one is also coming in from Tampa Bay, St. Petersburg. Success 53 on the year, unique item 74. It's a one of one in 10 days. Former MLB pitcher, he was on the 2004 Red Sox team that won the World Series and broke the alleged curse of the Bambina. Probably better known for his time with the Cincinnati Reds. At least that's what I remember him from. This is a one of one on a 2009 Tops, another um, one of my favorite top sets. Mr. Bronson Arroyo also inscribed his jersey number 61. For some reason, on pretty much every Bronson Arroyo base card I think I have, he they, they like the shot of him with his... Um, Patented like leg kick, I guess you'd say his leg almost like comes up to the top of his head. But I, I'm pretty sure base tops every single year uses some kind of variation of this photo. Uh, I don't know. It is a definitely unique delivery, so I can see why they would do that. Um, but this is a nice big blue sharpie signature. Awesome, thank you, Mr. Arroyo, for that one. This is this will look pretty good at the rest of my 2009 tops that I have signed. 
I'd say it's probably one of my top five top sets over the last 15 years. I just like how simple it is. Um, pretty good for a border design. And this last one is the Hall of Fame success coming in from Fort Myers, Florida. It only took seven days, did require a donation of $10, but I'm more than happy to pay that for one of the all-time greats. Um, this is number 54 on the year. Unique item 75 on a 2016 Classics. Mr. Sonny Jurgensen. Also inscribed Hall of Fame 83. I did not ask him to, so that's, that's always awesome when, when they add their own inscription. I think it shows that they took the extra time to, you know, sign it well and, you know, add a little something extra on there. So thank you, Mr. Jurgensen, for adding that. I was, uh, I've really been debating buying a box of this year's classics. It just released on Wednesday and trying to get some TTMs on that. I think I definitely need to invest in one now. Um, probably do a box break and review on that because this card looks great. Um, these these cards look great signed in black on certain photos and then also signed in blue on certain ones as well. They're just really good cards. I put them right up there with like an Allen and Ginter or a Topps Heritage for baseball um, in terms of like the look of the card, the feel of the card. So pretty awesome. Uh, he was a really good quarterback for the for Washington for many years. He kind of was one of the first quarterbacks to pioneer the passing offense. Um, there's a lot of teams that would run the ball a lot during the time that he played, but him and Bart Starr, I would say, were the two biggest ones who were known for uh, using their arms instead of relying on the ground game. So let me know what you guys thought of today's returns. Like I said, if you want to leave a comment down below with some guys that you've gotten back or some guys you'd like to see me try to send to, just let me know down in the comments. I always respond to any comments I do get. And also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hope you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend, and I will see you next week. Have a good one.